Today I'm making a miniature motorized cable cam. I'm going to be using it with the Insta360 GO 3S action camera, but it will be capable of carrying other small action cameras as well. To start off, I'm going to wire together my electrical components, which consist of just three parts. The motor, a speed controller, and a rechargeable battery that can all be purchased on Amazon for under $30. And I will put links for each of these parts in the description. The wiring for this is super basic. I'm just going to solder a wire to both positive and negative on the motor and then connect the other ends of these wires to the output on the speed controller and then just add wires to the positive and negative inputs on the speed controller, which will then plug into the battery. And that's literally all there is to it as far as the electronics are concerned. So now when I turn the dial, it will power on the motor and adjusting the dial will change the speed of the motor. And now it's time for the fun part, actually designing the zip line, which I'm planning on 3D printing as much of as possible. Now at this point, I don't even know exactly what it's gonna look like, but I'm just gonna start off by measuring each of the parts and designing some sort of housing that they'll all fit inside of, and then go from there. And here is what I came up with. And now that this is ready, it's time to go fire up the 3D printer. This turned out really nice. The controls fit perfectly. The battery compartment is perfect. The slot for the motor and the wheel that attaches to the motor have this really nice friction fit so they don't need any glue to stay in place. And the only thing that's not 3D printed on this zip line are the two metal studs that needed to be really smooth so that the wheels would spin nice and freely. On the bottom, there's a notch for sliding in a quarter inch screw, which I can then attach the mounting plate for the Insta360 GO 3. And now I'm ready to go try this thing out. If any of you have a 3D printer and you wanna try building one of these for yourself, I did make the 3D print file available on my website, which there's a link for in the description. 